This sounds stupid and it's like I'm some big YouTuber and you honestly probably think that like your opinion, like you, like your sole opinion doesn't matter to me. Before Tana Moju first joined YouTube on April 30th, 2015 and quickly rocketed to internet fame with her story time videos. So today's video is going to be a story time video where I tell you about a fucking weird ass experience that I just had yesterday when I went and got my hair done. Before dating her pet nut. This is Summer, my boyfriend. He's the coolest What's up, guys? ever. Before she collaborated with Shane Dawson, Gabby Hanna, Jonah Green, Cody Ko, Polina Bergova, Shannon Rose, and Ricky Dillon. Oh yeah. And of course, there was the beef with IDubs TV. Yikes. Say nigger. Fucking nigger. You know you're a stupid nigger, right? Before she had over half a million Twitter followers, 1.1 million on Instagram, and on her main YouTube channel, over 2.4 million. Well, not exactly. With a loss of 1.6 million subscribers in a single day, her subscriber count fell to just 832,000. But don't worry guys, she recovered most of those losses the very next day, and at the time of this recording, boasts 2.4 million once again. And that's just her main channel. She has another channel with nearly 800,000 subs, and a channel she makes in collaboration with six other YouTubers known as Trash, and that has 300,000 subscribers. All totaling about 3.5 million subscribers, which ain't bad. So cute! Boy, you're so cute. I have the cutest boyfriend in the whole world, you guys. Look at us. Look at us. Look at you. As the fastest growing female YouTuber of 2016, many have speculated that the teen vlogger may just be the next Jenna Marbles. Tana Moju found fame quick and scandal just as quickly after calling out iDubs for using offensive language in a since deleted tweet. He decided to confront her at a fan meetup. The controversy has gone on for weeks. Hopefully the conflict won't cast too dark of a cloud over her growing career. And I doubt it will. Recently she tweeted, I've made so many mistakes and even at 18, I'm still trying to learn. I hope I'm still willing to learn when I'm 18. What's going on guys? My name is Michael McCredden, documenting the life and career of Tana Moju. A name no one can pronounce. Prior to fame, here for you on Before They Are Famous. We've covered plenty of other YouTubers in the past. Recently, I updated the Before They Are Famous I made on PewDiePie, and I've also done iDubs. And you didn't like it. Anyway, let us know who's next in the comments down below. I told myself before I started YouTube that I was going to be different. I wasn't going to be the sellout, average, blonde bimbo on YouTube. I was going to be someone different. Tana Moju was born on June 24th, 1998. She grew up in Las Vegas, and from what she said about her childhood, it wasn't easy. She had constant fighting going on in her household, and from an early age, she was exposed to partying, drugs, and alcohol. A true millennial, Tana grew up on the internet and social media. Her present Twitter page was started in 2012, but this is apparently her second one as her first one was taken down. Aside from YouTube, she's also on Snapchat and Instagram, and some of her early social media posts would come back to haunt her in her beef with IDubs TV. While she criticized him for the use of the N-word, he revealed in the Content Cop video he did on her that she has some history with the word herself. But she didn't use the N-word in the same way that I use it. She used it in a very mean-spirited way. You know you're a stupid nigger, right? You fucking nigger! Others have had no trouble finding racist tweets from Tana back in the day, but we're not there yet. Tana started drinking when she was in the 8th grade and smoking weed around the same time when she was 14. She also had a stalker from the time when she was in the 2nd grade who might still be stalking her now. I've decided that I'm going to make a video all about my stalker and how crazy he is. Dan has posted a ton of videos about her stalker to her channel, and several of her most popular videos are about him. But to sum it up, he's a stalker for 10 years, taking pictures of her while she slept, and sent her very threatening messages. In 2015, she sent him to jail, but he has since been released, and she thinks he broke into her old house. Ooh, so spooky. Or so fake. I don't know. I, I, I really don't know. Anyway, Tana started her main channel on April 30th, 2015, posting her oldest still available video two weeks later. The video is called Hairdresser from Hell, a relatable profanity-laced story about getting her hair done by a bad stylist. 
sometimes people are gonna fuck shit up and you have to fix it on your own because you need to be an independent ass bitch. The video has since racked up over 2.3 million views and an impressive 58,000 likes. Having found her style right out of the gate, it's no surprise she continued to post story time videos like it and grew so rapidly throughout 2016, videos like this couldn't have hurt either. And this is the weirdest video I've ever filmed in my entire life. I don't even know what's going on. By October of 2015, her subscriber count had hit 100,000K and would continue to rise steadily. She hit a million subs on May 12, 2016 and 2 million on November 13th of that year. Everything was going so well for her, then this happened. Then I go and spoil it all by saying something stupid like You fucking nigger! On December 10th of 2016, apparently outraged by one of IWTV's controversial comedy videos, she decided to tweet at him. I'll let John Scarce explain what happened. Hannah Mojo tweet at Idubs telling him to kill himself because he says the N-word. She later deleted the tweet not because she reconsidered her views on the N-word, but because she felt she shouldn't have said kill yourself. Idubs was obviously not too impressed with the tweet, but rather than respond via rage tweet, he came up with something a little more dramatic. Road trip! Now officially a YouTube star, Tana was on tour in San Francisco on January 21st, 2017. Ten groups of people joined her during her VIP meet and greet, and among the last group was Idubs. He arrived wearing Tana Moju merch, posed for a photo with her, and then said something he knew she would not be very happy about. Say nigger. Tana went on to talk about the incident and racism in general during her live show. She tweeted about it as well. Then upon returning from her tour, she posted a video about it called The N-Word. So the guy looks at me and he wraps his arm around me and he looks in the camera and he goes, say, and it puts his thumbs up and then like blank and he says the N-Word, like hard R. N word. She does not actually mention Idubs by name in the video, possibly because after meeting so many fans, she was so tired and didn't even recognize him. Idubs then posted his road trip to meet her on his B channel and dropped a content cop video on Tana Moju. In it, he calls her out for her own previous use of the N word and defends the way he uses the term. Borrowing a phrase from the censorship episode of South Park, he says that when it comes to offensive words, either all of them are okay or none of them are okay. He also says this. Have you or your friends ever said a word so frequently that it's lost a lot of the initial punch that it had and eventually it just lost all meaning entirely? Which might sound like an easy argument to make for a white boy, but it's virtually the same thing the legendary comedian Lenny Bruce said about the topic. President Kennedy got on television every day and said, I would like to introduce all the niggas in my cabinet. Nigger, 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 nigger. Nigger would lose its impact and it'd never make any foil nigger cry when he came home from school. Idubs took issue with Tana's blanket ban of the word, but that's not all. Another thing that Tana got wrong that really infuriates me is she said I gave a thumbs up. I'm not a fucking animal, Tana. I wouldn't give a thumbs up after saying a racial slur. At the time of this recording, Tana has not published a YouTube video since the Content Cop episode dropped, but on Twitter she seems to be hinting that an apology video is coming. I'm assuming to her fans and not to Idubs. We're probably coming to an end of this weird feud between Tana and Idubs, but I'm fairly sure we haven't seen the last of her. Her fans are fiercely loyal and she loves them dearly. How cute. And I'm so thankful for you making me who I am. And I'm so thankful for the fact that my true fans and subscribers stand behind me through anything. As for the rest of the story, well, you know the story because this is before they're famous. My name is Michael McCredit. We make all sorts of celebrity bios here for you on this channel. We've done a bunch of YouTubers in the past, but they're really hard to do because their stories are just all over the place. And then they get mad and it's awkward. Anyways, let us know who's next in the comments down below. My name is Michael McCredit, and I'll see you guys in another video. Boom!